Hello, my name is Brad Niemerg. I grew up in uh, a Catholic family, and uh, most of my young adult life, from high school and uh, before I was saved, I was f focused mostly on trying to do the right thing. And uh, it became very difficult. I mean, we all sin, and trying to eliminate your sins is not possible. And so I always felt like uh, it was not good enough, I felt shame, I felt guilt, and it made it hard for me to understand really what the church was all about, the Catholic Church. And then I graduated high school, I joined the military one week later. And my first exposure to going to any other service besides Catholic was in basic training. I, I would pick whichever one was available based upon my training and the things I had to get done. And I would go to it and I, I saw different things, you know, I didn't really understand everything that I heard, but uh, I definitely saw different services that I thought made more sense to me. Then uh, fast forward about six months after basic training, I deployed to Iraq. And I deployed with some, guy, some guys that were Christians. They weren't necessarily the strongest in their faith, but they would attend service and encourage me in that. And so I, I started to, to develop a little bit of knowledge, just very little. But uh, the biggest turning point was we were starting to do uh, work with special forces. And the guys I was with, we were going to be assigned to the same to this <clears throat> mission with special forces, and uh, I, I wasn't really excited about it. I didn't know if I was actually going to go, but I could, and we, we didn't really know all the information about it. And then a couple of days before it was supposed to happen, before we, were, we had got all the information, they changed it and said, "No, you're not going. Someone else is going. This other group." And everyone that they went that that would have went that went instead of us they all died and that, that really impacted me and so we all you know me and the other two guys that were christian guys went to the memorial service which the only service they had was there was actually it was a baptist service and uh of course you know the gospel was preached and you know that that's when i I knew I, I needed I need Jesus I need uh, you know <clears throat> I needed him to save me I could not do it myself it wasn't just about being good it was I needed his his mercy his grace he, he took my spot just like those guys that had died you know they took our spot so I returned back from Iraq in in May, and uh, soon after, started working at the, at the place I was working before I had left, and met my wife Katie. In the fall, I started school, and that's when her dad began discipling me and really teaching me more about 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 uh, being Christian and doing a Bible study together. We would meet at Bob Evans every every Monday morning. Because at the time he was traveling from um, Congerville to Indianapolis for for work, they had not moved yet to Indianapolis, and um, that that had a huge impact. That much that he poured into me, and that uh, I really felt like I was I was learning and felt comfortable reading the Bible. So the reason I want to be baptized is. Um, I've always, you know, when, from the early, I wanted to be baptized, but I was nervous about being in front of people and I'm somewhat shy or a lot shy. And it was easier just to do nothing. But once I came to Summit Woods, uh, you know, we, we took the initial class with Trevor on Sunday mornings, and he really explained, you know, what the Bible says about it and how important it is. And it, and it really got me thinking that it's something I just need to do. I, 
I didn't need to wait any longer. I didn't need to just have my excuse be, I'm shy. That's not acceptable. Um, and I needed to have an outward expression of, what, of an inward thing. 